So I made something call uh, on 6 4 2007. Claude, what bothers me? We're, we're gonna go through. There's like, yeah, 20 of them. And I wanna see when I read them if they still bother me or if they. God damn it! I'm gonna turn down the TV for a sec. They knew I tripped over that stupid thing that won't stay up. <laughs> I'm like trying to clean the room. Probably still on the last clippity clip if it goes with this one. Okay. Basically, we're gonna go through. I'm gonna read it, and I'll tell you if it's still true or if that still bothers me. And if it bothers you, comment down below. Okay. Number one. People who think they know it all. Okay. Everyone always comments or tells me, you think you know everything. You think you know it all. You have an answer for everything. When, no, I don't. And that still bothers me. I hate people who think they know everything. And then when you try to tell them that they're wrong, they're like, nah, I'm right. It's like people make mistakes, dude. Anyways, number two, people working dish room at my work. What I mean by that is, they don't do it right. Three. So basically for you, it would be people at your work. Three. People who think everything... Wait. People who think everything they do is funny. Oh, yeah. People are like, they say something and then they go, ha, 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 ha. Or they say something in the comments and they go, LOL. And yet, nothing's funny. Or they say, that's funny. And yet, they're not laughing. I, I, I don't get it. Four. People having wasted time with YouTube. Meaning, what was the point of posting that two second video? What's the point of posting that video of nothing? That sort of thing. Five. People that always think about themselves and no one else. <laughs> A.K.A. my nephew's mother <clears throat> not naming names but yeah oh can you can you watch your son no I'm sorry I can't watch him right now well, why not oh I need to get my nails done I need to get my hair done I'm gonna go work out your son comes first or it should come first in your life and my brother needs a break he can't be watching 24-7 well, you get to go have me time 24-7. And so, it just bothers me that pe people are like that. Okay, six. People who worry about stupid stuff. Like, oh my god, I got a zit. Oh my god, what do we do? It's the end of the world. I got a zit. Stuff like that. Seven. People who want to hang out with their friends more than family. They hardly get to see. Um, that is true, because my cousin was like that, where she never wanted to hang out with us. She always wanted to hang out with friends that she saw every single day over family that she barely sees. We would do Maple Leaf, and she would always have to bring a friend and be up at Maple Leaf the whole time, and then come back just to say, she, she'll come in and say hello, and then she'll leave, and then she'll come back and say goodbye and not stay in chit chat. It was kind of annoying. And I just don't like that. Why would you want to hang out with somebody that you hang out with every single day over a family member that you barely get to see that's in town to see you? And eight and nine, I don't understand. Eight was, it said sanding. Oh, sanding, okay, it just, it's when people are sanding like walls and stuff because I think this was the time they were sanding. This wall over here to get a new wall. And then GUM, which I don't want to talk about. 10, getting to watch what I want when I want. Okay, that doesn't bother me as much as it did back in the day, to be honest. Because back in the day, I never got to watch what I wanted to watch. And every time I would start watching something, my dad would come in and be like, Get off! I want to watch something. Hand me the remote. And if I start recording it, I'm like, I can't. I'm recording it. And he goes, tough shit. 
you don't need to record it and then make me stop in the middle of it. And or I'd be on or I'd go on the computer and he'd be like, Get off, I went on and I'm like, but I just got on he goes, I don't care. Go watch T V. It just got irritating. But now it doesn't bother me much. If my mom's like, Hey, can I watch something? Because I don't want to hog the TV 24-7. I say, okay, that's fine. And tonight, I'll be watching the first Teen Mom. Then I'll be watching Seven Little Johnsons, Catfish, and then tomorrow the Connors. Connors and then the next day, it will be Hell's Kitchen and the Cat Cafe. I watched that without tearing it because if I miss an episode of that, it's not going to piss me off as much because when work starts... I won't be able to get to see that show, but it won't piss me off or anything because, yeah, she's from Blossom and, and Big Bang Thing, but I never watched Big Bang Theory. And the Cat Cafe is okay, and it's kind of funny. But, yeah, so not getting to watch what I want to watch, that back in the day bothered me, but it doesn't bother me now because I have TiVo, and I can just watch it later. 11. People who think they're all that. Who, like, especially fat people who, like, want to show off their skin and it's like and they think they're skinny and it's like dude you're fat you're not skinny you don't need to be showing off your body and thinking you're all that or they walk around talking with their friends looking around like is anybody watching I'm all that you know it's just ridiculous 12 people who get mad over the stupidest little stuff um yeah that still bothers me 13. People who think they're funny. It kind of goes with people who think everything's funny because they're not. 14. People who think they are the shit and they're not. It's kind of like them thinking they're all that. 15. People who think they have great ideas and they don't. Where they're like, mm, I don't want to give that an example because I don't want my friend to feel bad. It's like when they give an idea of, hey, I'm going to do Minecraft, and I'm going to go blow up stuff, or something. I don't know. I don't know how to explain that one. 16. People who think they can sing and dance, and they can't, and they're like, and you tell them, hey, you can't sing. They're like, you're just jealous. Um, you can't dance. Oh, you're just jealous. Jealous? of you because you can't sing okay even when like 50 people tell them they can't dance or sing they she tells all of they they tell all of them you're just jealous <laughs> like okay <laughs> 17 people who get jealous over the stupidest stuff 18 people yeah that still bothers me by the way 18 people who bitch all the time like my mother. My snooty hands, my bag hands. Oh my god, my toe, my toe. Oh my god, I went to the dentist to get my Invisalign and they screwed me over. Let's talk about that 50 million times when I know, I know. Okay, nigga, cut out, cut out. Okay, 19. People at my work getting away with stuff and if I do it, I get in trouble. Yeah, that still bothers me because that still happens. Like, I get threatened at work, and I get in trouble for it. Um, people keep taking food for free and not getting in trouble for it, and then and not paying for it. And so I go to get food for free, and I get caught and yelled at and in trouble. And I'm like, but so and so does it, and they're like, well, you don't know. If I gave permission to that so and so when I know you fucking didn't. You're just playing favorites. Okay, 20. People who come over all the time and don't give us a break and so on. When family members come over every single day and they just hang out for hours and hours and hours. Or they beg, can you watch my son every single fucking day and not give us a break? And let us do what we want to do for that day. Or they come, or they use me. Like, I had some friends that used me for my computer. So they didn't have to go to the library and sign up to get on the computer to 
to only get on it for a few minute hours or minutes or whatever and then have to give it up because other people are in line waiting to use the computer and have to pay to print things up so you just use my computer and ignore me the whole time and not let me get to use it or talk to people too it yeah that happened and or when I had a sleepover a friend of mine was like I had to drive all day long out of town I don't feel like coming over blah 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 and I'm like oh no okay I'm gonna tell so-and-so who's coming over any minute that you won't be coming and they're like oh they're coming over okay I'll be over in a few minutes you just didn't want to come over because you don't like me but since your other friend who you do like came up is coming over you're gonna come over and then the whole time you two are talking and I have no clue what you're talking about but you guys are talking and you don't give me a chance to talk you don't hang out with me when it's my birthday but yeah it was ridiculous how people did that shit to me I was so so annoyed dad and mom quotes on the 1996 Aruba tape trip Ooh, yeah I should read those cause some of the things they said was funny as hell like my dad in one of the videos he would say Aruba dogs but here in America we call them sheep or goats and basically what he was filming was a sh uh, goat and he called them Aruba dogs <laughs> from Aruba and then here's another one from my dad oh shit when water got on on my dad he said oh shit and the way he said it was just the most hilarious thing ever this is the only store we got here to drink to get drinks they're fast here mom said I don't remember that one this is where we stay oh yeah my mom pretended like this little shack was their hotel room <laughs> I'm not gonna say my mom's name so I'm just gonna say mom even though my dad said this mom had to pee for the thousandth time today <laughs> and was showing my mom going behind a rock to go pee at the beach at a private beach. And the funny thing is, she still does that to this day. She's like, I gotta go to the bathroom. I gotta go to the bathroom. It's like, oh, Jesus Christ. This is the rock mom went to the bathroom on. And my dad showed the rock. And it really wasn't the rock that my mom peed on, but my dad pretended to say it was. You can buy this for $2,000, dad said. I don't know what he was talking about. Uh, these goats dif differently had, oh, these goats definitely had too much berries. This goat is standing in a divvy divvy tree with no rocks around or nothing, Dad said. <laughs> Which is true, the goats were up on a tree that was called divvy divvy and it looked pretty funny. Definitely berry seasons for this goat. Why was I calling them ghosts? It's goat. I don't know. This is where we spent our night. And it was like a little rundown shack with like a bathroom that nobody used for years and years and years. It was a joke. <laughs> and I thought that was the most funniest thing in the world. Let's see what else is in this book. Before I turn me offy. Oh, here's some banner ideas for General Hospital that never happened. <laughs> that was January 23rd, 2008. I get all these ideas and then I don't do it because it takes too much time and energy. I also wanted to do it for Hanson and Big Brother 9. What the fuck? Okay, we won't go there. Oops. Look what I did with Hanson's name. <sighs> Anyways, if there's anything else, I'll share.
is this a new thing? Every two weeks we get snow now.